I would like to once again convey my thank you to Edu Show mock test series also because I think before appearing for these mock tests, I was not that much confident about PEA papers, even though I had done the past two papers. It was, uh, and it came pretty similar to came uh, yeah. in the actual ISA exam. Am I would not say similar? I think exactly the same only. Hi everyone, this is Mahima Bantia and I'd like to welcome today Sarthak Jha with us. So uh, Sarthak has just uh, made it to ISI MSQE, I'm sure his dream college. So Sarthak, firstly, many, many congratulations on achieving this be- this beautiful and amazing feat. Thank you very much, ma'am. Ma'am, so I had prepared for IIT JAM exam, COET and ISI MSQE exam. And like my main focus colleges were only three, which were IIT Delhi, DSC and ISI. And like Delhi and Kolkata, both of these branches included. So I secured AIR 33 in IIT JAM exam. And I had secured admission offer from IIT Delhi for MSc Economics and from DSC for MA Economics. And just now when the meeting started, I have secured admission for ISI MSQ. Amazing. So Sartha, um, so uh, to bring you back uh, your time in preparation, and we were just talking about what uh, helped you a lot in clearing this exam. So can you take us? So Sartha uh, was with our mock test. So we uh, specifically, I mean, he was talking about certain things that helped us. So Sartha, can you, uh, you know, share what, uh, what, what, what you thought helped you crack uh, the ISI MSQ exam? Okay, so focusing on only the ISI MSQ exam based on the mock test series which were prepared, I think the concepts which were taught in the mock test video solutions, like the meaning of when price level equals to expected price level, then finding the natural level of unemployment, then the solo model, then like sequences and series, and then econometrics questions were also there. Correct. So that you're saying that it was a part of the mock test series. uh, It it was included in. It was, uh, and it came pretty similar to came uh, in the actual ISI exam. Ma'am, I would not say similar. I think exactly the same only. Exactly the same. Yes, ma'am, because that formula had been derived in the video solution. Okay. And another question also, you were saying that uh, came pretty similar. What was that? Ma'am, it was the solo model where the level of savings rate that maximizes the consumption per worker, which is the golden rule savings rate. Hmm. That was one of the questions. I think it was second question. In the actual paper, and that was also in actual the paper. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, it was in the mock test. Yes, and another question also, I think something. Con- uh, the yes, consumption, consumption smoothening, and then there was one more question that was about partial fractions and okay. their role in the sum of sequences and series. Right. And actually, we had practiced that so much, so like it got stuck in our minds only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying that, uh, you know, because it came in the mocks and because they would, it was so properly explained in the videos that it just got stuck in your head. And then when it, the exact same question came yes, ma'am. in the exam, it really helped you. Yes, ma'am. That is, uh, that is so heartening uh, to hear, Sarthak. Um, I mean, I'm, uh, very, it's very satisfying for me to actually to hear this from you. <laughs> Great. What else, Sarthak? So, um, any so now that you're an ISI student, uh, you know, people, I mean, you are you are from a great college, you're from my college, you're from SRCC. Yes, but still, ma'am. it's challenging for anyone to crack to ISI. Survive in, and even then, for surviving in ISI and getting a good GPA there on also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in the semester exams and the mid-sem exams, that yeah. would also require like huge amount of effort. Of course. But you've reached till now, uh, you know, reached till here. This is like the dream of uh, everybody who's studying. Uh, and yes, I know of a lot of kids who sometimes they can't even dream about ISI. You know, it, it seems so far away that itni kam seats hai, uh, itne sare bachche hai, kaise hoga. So you, you know, you've uh, literally cracked like the uh, golden code or whatever <laughs> it, I can say. It. So just from your side, people would really want to know um, that if you... Uh, had to kind of distill it down and tell them ki you know do this and uh, this uh, it will help you so what what can you tell them ma'am actually i think that before like like 
I I thought of getting into IIT Delhi or ISI. So in IIT Delhi also there are twenty five seats only. Yeah. Uh, MSc Economics. Yeah. So I think that before even starting the preparation, if we start thinking that oh there are so many limited seats and there are so many applicants, so yeah. I I find that is a very limiting perspective and that belittles your own talent and your yeah. own potential because yeah. if like. If you are really dedicated for about six to eight months, then I don't think that it will be that much of a challenge because most of the competitions which increase the number actually do not prepare like so. I like many of them prepare, but most of them do not prepare wholeheartedly for this these exams. Like yeah. they just increase the numbers, yeah. and if we start getting disheartened that oh there are so many candidates, how will I get? And like if we just start getting into that statistic that only one percent selection rates or zero point five percent selection rate, yeah. then I think in every field where like people have reached the top levels, I think it would be this much only. Like if we take for UPSC, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Indian, e- like Indian economic services exams, or even in the corporates, if we see the top level management who rise from like humble backgrounds or any business person, if we start taking that also statistically, then that would be also around zero point one percent or zero point five percent only. So I think we should not dishearten ourselves or like before even starting the preparation, get scared that it the selection rate is so low. Hmm. No, that's a fair point. I mean, uh, I hope others can think like you and have trust in in their own. Uh, what do I say? Like you said, कि अपने talent पे थोड़ा भरोसा ना होना चाहिए. Yes, ma'am. But uh, yes, ma'am. mostly लोगों नहीं होते अपने talent पे भरोसा. So I mean, it's glad to hear that you know you are talking about this, and that is something that is true. Unless you believe that uh, if I study, I can make it. How will you ever uh, do it? And uh, did you follow any routine, Sartha? I'm um, actually. I started my preparation after completing my college. I had completed in 2024. So in okay. that way, I had an one advantage that I could solely focus for these entrance exams only. Right. Then coming to the routine part, I used to start my studies at around 10 o'clock in the morning, and like for four to five months, I would pick two subjects and focus solely on them only. Achha. Like from July to October. Like mid November, I focused on microeconomics and macroeconomics, and then from January fifteen till the date of IIT JAM exam, which was February two, I used to focus only on the mock tests and the video solutions only. I used to focus only on the mock tests. There were about three hour mock tests, so I used to give one in the morning time. Then used to analyze the mistakes after taking a break, and then used to solve those again. the questions in which i had did a mistake mm-hmm. or if the question which i had done correctly but i had taken a lot of time then i would like solve it two to three times so that during the actual exam it feels easier yeah that is uh, that is great and i mean that's literally the ideal matlab ek ideal bachcho tum mere sare bachche aise hote to main bahut khush ho jati ki you know that uh, something that we keep saying to do that but you've done this so koi shortcut nahi hai and uh, aapne bhi koi shortcut nahi mara so that is the um, i mean it's a testimony to that it's a testimony to the plain old hard work ki you know mom and if we start following this hard work i think in the short run it might not seem anything visible difference to our lives or to our career but in the long run i think it could lead to disproportionate rewards for anyone who could like follow the hard work or like being dedicated to their field actually these were also discussed in the mock test solution so like when they were teaching about how, like which question is from where so they also like linked it with the concept which yeah. was based on yeah so I then revised that concepts only when I was like sitting before appearing for the exam. Like there were there was one or two hour. Like I had arrived at the exam center earlier, so Achha. one hour break was given. My yeah. exam center was at I S I Delhi only. Acha. Oh, so you went to I S I Delhi to give the exam? Yes. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay. Nice. Nice. So one thing that you told me uh, when you were chatting before the meeting that how. Um, because of what we did in the mock test those concepts stuck to you that is something that i am going to really take away from this that uh, you know from now i'm trying going to try and give more and more 
of the typical questions, things that I expect to or are repeat often repeated in, let's say, an ISI or a DSE, yes, not DSE now, but ISI, IIT, CVT, and often repeated things, I'll try to give more in mocks because that's what you told me that, you know, whatever you I gave in mocks, it stuck to you because it was done towards the end, you know, uh, and uh, it, it stuck to you. That's what you said. So that's... Um, and one more thing also that, Moreover, the mistakes that I made during the mocks hmm. that stayed more in a, in my mind, hmm. like wherever I had gone wrong in the hmm. questions, hmm. so that I was able to recall. Okay, this was the concept which was I was not able to understand during the mock exam time. That right. So that also, uh, I mean, it, the I, what I understand from you now is that whatever we did in mocks. That became really important, uh, like you said, that, you know, it uh, it was uh, your mistakes, what you did right, what you did wrong, the kind of questions that we gave. Everything was very, very fresh in your mind. And when they, a lot of similar questions, actually, you saw in the exams, you got, uh, you know, that, that gave you a lot of confidence because it gives you a lot of confidence, even if the first few questions, like you told me, that question two, same tha, question three, same tha. That if the yes, ma'am, like if the initial questions we are able to answer, then yeah. even if further questions are twisted, that gives us a sense of confidence. Confidence. That right. if we go ahead and like do one or two steps, then we can go and right. solve and get right. the correct answer. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. So that's what you that's what you made me realize that uh, how important uh, the mocks were, like you said, for you also in uh, in your clearing the actual exam, how important they were. So it kind of gives me also that greater purpose that it's not just to test you or it's not just to help you in time management, but it also is like your final leg of preparation that, okay, now that you've done everything, make sure this, you know, and if, you know, if that goes well, then there's a, there's, it increases your chances of actually performing better in the exam, because now I've gotten your focus to those particular important questions, which, uh, which are often repeated from this entire, uh, you know, so many concepts that are there. So from that entire question bank, we were able to get your focus into those parts which were important and thankfully they came in the exam. So that is something that helped you. Thank you so much, Sarthak. It was lovely talking to you. Uh, very inspiring. I am also feeling uh, more energized. Ki, haan, maybe, you know, long-term goals ko dhyan mein rakke if we do uh, and not bother about short-term all the time, ki abhi, 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 but rather kind of think of the long-term, then uh, the uh, it does add up. So... Thank you, Sarthak. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. And I would like to once again convey my thank you to Edusha mock test series also because I think before appearing for these mock tests, I was not that much confident about PEA papers, even though I had done the past year papers for most of the years. But like after solving these mock test series in a time bound manner, then I was able to like be confident in the actual exam also because I think solving like just randomly solving the questions at home and solving them in a time bound manner also like gives a sense of pressure and in that pressure also sometimes the questions which we might know in comfort situation we like the concept does not strike during that time yeah. because like we have that in mind that only this much time is left this much time is left and so many questions are left so i think i was able to learn about the like strategy of time management firstly and then which questions to focus and which questions to not focus specifically for isi exam because as i said that we get one marks for unattempted question mm. so i think these two were the main like benefits that i was able to derive from the mock test series course and then thirdly that understanding my mistakes through the video solutions yeah. so i think like when i actually sat during the exam center i was mostly calm and composed for most of the questions and i think that was only because like i had appeared for the four to five mock test series of isi from edu show so like i was able to understand the art of time management and like how to perform under pressure yeah and I think that is more important for this exam also because there are continuous two exams like PEA and Very then tough. half an hour, 40 minutes break. Yeah. Then you have to sit for another two hours. hours. You're already tired and then there's a, the whole of PEB which is left. And PEB is the actual, I think, the testing because it's it has 75% weightage. Yeah, yes, yeah. ma'am. 
yeah, yeah. So they tire you out and then they give you <laughs> the the actual difficult things <laughs> yeah. and the more weightage things. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. That is uh, so true. I say it's a quite a high pressure exam if like that. It's not a two hour exam. Two hours may be still fresh, but to give an yes, exam, to take a break, to come back to that mode, very difficult. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All right. Great, Sarthak. Thank you so much. Many, many congratulations again and enjoy this moment. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarthak. Thank you, Sarthak.